Hey guys, Dr. Gus here, naturopath, acupuncturist, conventional doctor, and founder of DrLandivar.com. Welcome to today's video. So, does natural medicine really work? Does apple cider vinegar, for example, do anything for our bodies? Does cinnamon, cinnamon tea maybe, even, I don't know, basil, whatever you want as a herb, as a supplement, as a vitamin, does it do something for our system? Believe it or not, you'd be surprised to learn how much, for example, in this case, apple cider vinegar can do to change your health. So what is it good for? What are its health benefits? Today, Greg, we're going to walk through a couple of studies just to show you and prove to you that apple cider vinegar does have health benefits for you, maybe, and basically nowadays for every single one of us that is combating or wanting to have a good uh, metabolic rate, to have a good lipid or cholesterol profile, to have a good sugar control, obesity, and even circulatory system or even nerve function. So today, let's look at apple cider vinegar. So what is apple cider vinegar? It's just the same thing as what its name implies. It's apple cider, but it's vinegar. It's vinegar from apple cider. Apple, red apples, you know, you, you get the cider and then you do and you make that vinegar. Very cheap, very effective, very natural, excellent for your health. So what did what does it actually do? A lot of people take apple cider vinegar to improve and reduce body weight, to start losing weight, to start seeing their body mass decrease. And you might do all the exercises in the world, but the body sometimes needs a push. It needs a push to burn fat. It needs a push to make sure that cholesterol is w being well burnt fast and, and, and effectively. And apple cider vinegar might be the tool you need sometimes even pushing your thyroid to make that metabolic rate uh, also get that get that good uh, good umph to it going is needed also so apple cider vinegar and this is a study done in obese japanese subjects proving that apple cider vinegar not just vinegar reduces body weight when you use it okay this is it's obviously a metabolic syndrome metabolic syndrome is where the person cannot or is unable to burn fat easily has a problem when they eat maybe a small amount of food they gain so much weight because the body is unable to burn everything they are eating maybe because they had an unhealthy lifestyle before or maybe because it's just genetics well apple cider vinegar might be able to help you i always recommend people to make sure that their metabolic rate is functioning properly so if it's not you might want to get a check or get your thyroid check or take a supplement for your thyroid maybe maybe that'll help a lot if you need something natural that can help you and has apple cider vinegar look for appleizer from fineland it also contains other ingredients at finelandvitamins.com and if you need something for your thyroid then go ahead and look for uh, metathyroid which i'm just i'm going to show you real quick here metathyroid from finelet at fineland vitamins or dr land of all right okay let's move on so what else does it do for your body it helps you lose weight number one number two a lot of people don't know that apple cider vinegar can also reduce your lipid profiles lipid profiles are everything that has to do with fats right cholesterol triglycerides, LDL, and even help improve HDL, which is the good type of cholesterol, which is, has proven to be effective and good for your health when it's in a good range in your system. Now, this uh, this uh, this actually is a meta-analysis or a sy systemic review, meaning it there are, there are many studies put together and analyzed to really come into a conclusion and see if apple cider vinegar is really effective and it's if it's helpful for your body well proving the results in nine studies including 10 study arms uh, the conclusion was that we found a significant favorable effect of apple cider vinegar consumption and blood lipids meaning cholesterol triglycerides and all sorts of fats that need to be metabolized in your body and sometimes are not because you have an, an a healthy lifestyle because you eat junk food because you don't exercise you need to get that going and apple cider vinegar might be there to help you what else does apple cider vinegar do well it also helps you reduce blood sugar and control blood sugar more easily well apple cider vinegar has been consumed for a long time among people that have a problem controlling blood sugar, all right? And nowadays, quite frankly, we are all at a risk of having problems with, with our metabolism, having that sugar spike up in our system. We need something that can help. If you're eating healthy foods, if you're taking a walk every day, if you're exercising, you are burning that sugar, sometimes not fast enough. You need something that might be able to help you. Well, apple cider vinegar might be the key for you, all right? Again, conclusion, this trial provides 
provided some evidence that apple cider vinegar consumption may cause beneficial effects on glycemic indices and oxidative stress extremely important for anyone who wants to keep their health going all the time that oxidative stress is very very crucial if you do not if you're not taking anything to control your oxidative stress you might be at a risk for getting sick fast getting uh, de degenerous conditions or even metabolic conditions like diabetes or any other that might be disruptive of your immune function if you need something natural that can help you combat that oxidative stress, look for Ultra C1000 from Phyland at drlandnevar.com or at phylandvitamins.com. All right, so what else is apple cider vinegar good for? Well, we've talked about diabetes, obesity, cholesterol, triglycerides, the heart. If you are able to improve the absorption or the burning of sugar, fat, cholesterol, triglycerides, and everything, you are also able to improve blood pressure, and blood flow and obviously yes again apple cider vinegar can help with blood pressure there are many many studies proving that if you take apple cider vinegar over a long period of time now by the way you have to take it diluted in water do not take it pure because it's going to be very strong for you to take you have to dilute it maybe even one part apple cider vinegar three parts water is maybe a good dilution because if not it's very very strong right so if you're having problems with the control of your blood pressure okay it does decrease slightly with a consumption of 30 milliliters a day okay you might want to look into that so we have heart we have sugar we have cholesterol we have oxidative stress we have all sorts of circulatory problems and believe it or not if you improve circulation then you also improve circulation in the brain in your nerves in degenerative conditions that even can help help improve your lifestyle so apple cider vinegar also has an ameliorative effect on neurological complications via the regulation of, of oxidative stress in my opinion a lot has to do with circul circulation also if you improve cholesterol uh, blood pressure uh, if you improve sugar control you're going to improve also circu your circulation in your brain on your extremities maybe even improve conditions that have a lot to do with neuropathic damage, right? So nerve control, pain, numbness. Some people feel and have, some people have uh, neuropathic pain that nothing can help them. Well, apple cider vinegar might be able to help you. If you need something natural that can help you specifically with that, look for Neuromatrix from Finland at finelandvitamins.com and if you need something for sugar control look for metaglucose from finland at finelandvitamins.com give that video a like share it for someone that might need it there you have it you can use it every day you can dilute it in water take it as you wish maybe a tablespoon maybe more and you can with a healthy diet help your body stay healthy like for you like for the video don't forget to share and i'll see you in the next video